I recently shared a couple of AI content writing tools with you, and today I wanna to share another one with you called copy.ai. So here I not only wanna give you a behind the scenes look so you know what this tool looks like, what it actually can be used for, the type of quality work that it actually will produce for you, but I also wanna share with you what I like and what I don't like about this tool so you know going in. So if you're tired at just staring at a blank piece of paper when you need to get blog posts, marketing copy, emails, social media posts published, then this can be a good tool to help you get something down so that you have something to work with. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we are inside the dashboard for copy.ai. This is where you're gonna find all their tools. You'll be able to access templates and access any of the documents, the writing that you have previously created. So as you can see here on the left-hand side, we have a lot of different tools and they'll give you some to get started here. And if we click on more, this is similar to what you would see over in the left-hand nav bar. And this really just walks you through all of the different templates that they have. So we have the blog post wizard, writing the intros and outros, and all of the different tools for blogs, which we'll look at because that's primarily what I've been using this for. And they also have a discount or special promotion. And so this one I actually found to be a pretty good tool. If you have a promotion or you have a client that has a promotion and you wanna to pull together some content for that, that can be really helpful as well. I haven't tried that one out, but that can be something that's helpful, uh, especially if you wanna have a, a client or a customer out there creating a testimonial and you wanna give it a, a spin that would be helpful for future customers to see. Some of their email templates are good. They have some welcome or confirmation email. These are things that really boost your credibility and really start to engage uh, customers that are coming in. So even if you start with just one email, this is a good one to start with. And then you can start doing something like this where you have a recurring email newsletter that's going out. A lot of people don't end up doing that recurring email, even though they have some people on their email list, just because it can be hard to figure out what to write and starting from a blank sheet. So this is a really good tool, at least to give you some ideas here. We have another coupon and discount email. So if you have uh, e-commerce stores, things like that, you have sales, those are good uh, ways to come up with content to help actually sell that discount and really get a push on that. We have some website copy. So for instance, about us, a lot of people struggle to come up with what to write. So that is a good one as well. So you can see there's a lot to do here. A lot of different options, even some funny ones like you can create song lyrics or a dating profile, wedding vows. Haven't tried any of those out, but hey, they're here if you need it or just want to have a little fun for that too. What I do want to show you is a couple of the social ones. I played around with this a little bit because I didn't have too much to put on social that I hadn't already prepared. But this is, again, you have that discount or special. So being able to take what you have written for, let's say an email, that's going to go out about a special and then be able to use that to create a discount that can also go along with that, but on social. So this is really the template that they give you. You can name this so it'll save it for you on your dashboard and can come back and access it or edit it at any time. But here we have a discount social media post. That's what we want to create. And then what are the main points? So it always gives you the the template for how to get the most out of this. So what is the product name? What does it do? What's it for? What's the actual discount? And then what do they need to do to be able to claim that offer, that discount that you're giving them? And then you can set the different tone. And as you can see, there's several of them here. And then click Create Content. And within just a few seconds, it is going to put something together for you over here. And you can take that, you can tweak it, you can run this again and try that as well. So what I also want to show you is the blog post. So if we click on blog, we have a couple of templates that are here. We have the blog post wizard. We have a write blog intro, an outline, and a section. So if you have the pro option, you're going to be able to use the blog post wizard. And this is actually what takes you step by step through creating a blog post. 
So this isn't really an option where you can just have a whole post just written out for you. What I find the most helpful here is really getting the intros going, the outros going, possibly because I'm very into the meat of post and what needs to be written, but then it's helpful to have someone else kind of introduce that idea or tie it all together. And also the blog outline. So just especially as I work with several writers, being able to just say, okay, what do I want to have them do? I want to make sure they hit the points going into this write blog outline and having them just having an outline created. And then I can hand that over is really helpful. So here we have the blog post wizard. And like I said, this is just going to walk you through the outline, adding in general talking points and so forth. But if you have the free version and you want to just go create the intro, create the outro, create the outline and do it section by section, then you can do that as well. So we can add in a blog post. So now after a few seconds, we have our outline here, getting your body used to the leash, socializing your dog when young, housebreaking, potty training, basic obedience commands, and so on. So this gives us a good outline to get started. And we can see at the top, we have a space for the blog intro and at the bottom, a space for the blog conclusion. So they're reminding us we're going to need to add a bit more there, but we can go ahead and generate the talking points. So now it's just been a few more seconds and now we have talking points. This is what I find to be really helpful, especially if you're working with writers, you need to get that outline over to them. This can really help speed up the process. So you can see now they've taken the whole outline, all of the bullet points here, and they've given us specifically what to talk about in paragraphs. So even if you do nothing else to generate content using the tool, Having this outline is really helpful. And so now you don't have to come up with all of this yourself. You can just start writing or start having the writer write. So here, getting use, getting your Roddy used to the leash. Use the leash to take your Rottweiler for a walk. Let your dog sniff the leash before putting it on. Use positive reinforcement. Socializing your dog. Um, house breaking and potty training. Set up a routine. Take your dog outside the same spot, same time every day. Use a crate. Um, different basic obedience commands. See, so all of this just is showing us what to talk about and we can expand on each of these. So if you wanna take it a step further and you want then to generate the content, that's where we can continue on with this wizard. So here we are now, you can see that they have added an introduction. Rottweilers are known as one of the most intelligent breeds of dog in the world and they can be trained very quickly and so forth. So now we have all of our different sections. So getting your body used to the leash. And so now they've taken those points and they've expanded on them here. Don't force the leash on your dog. Instead, make sure they sniff it before putting it on them so they know what scent they're supposed to follow while walking outside or exploring unfamiliar spaces inside the house like other rooms. As with other training methods, remember not to punish or reprimand your body when using any training tools like leashes. This could cause negative associations, blah, blah, blah. So they continue on there. Again, socializing your dog when young. We have some good bullet points in here. So as you can see, this is pretty good. There's a number four here, so that doesn't quite work. We also have some bullet points, but they look longer, almost like they don't need to be bullet points. They could just be actual sentences or paragraphs, unlike here, which are shorter, and that looks good. So. I show you this because here, for instance, like sit, this, this could be a command and then we have a paragraph about it. Down is a command and then we have a paragraph about it. This isn't meant to be actual bullet points here. So I say this because whenever you use a tool like this, this is to get your ideas down on paper. This is to help you make this process easier, but this is not for you to just now take exactly this and then post it on your blog. You actually need to read through it. Don't expect the formatting to be perfect, but you can see that you have a lot of good ideas. For the most part, they do pretty good with giving great ideas, um, introducing those ideas, expanding on them. Um, the formatting isn't going to be on point. Like in the first part, it looks pretty good, but as you go down, this is gonna need a little bit of formatting, but formatting for me is minimal. It's not a, a, a big issue. Sometimes there is uh, some content that is a bit repetitive. I don't want repetitive content. I don't want it to have fluff. So you want to take that out, not just trying to go for a long blog post for the sake of it, making sure that it's actually valuable here. Um, here, I, I would break this up in, in the formatting a bit. So it, it's just easier to see that maybe have sit be like an H3 header down, H3 header, so forth. 
in and so people can better visualize that and understand it. But here we have a section, for instance, teaching your dog to stay. All they have is a few bullet points. So if you don't like something, what you can do is just for this particular section, click on regenerate content and it will rerun it for you. Or if you like what they've said, but you just want even more, there's not enough detail, they've left some detail out, simply click write more and it will start to expand on that. Once I'm happy with it, it looks good. Let's see, we should have a conclusion down here. We have a little conclusion. Then we can click create blog post. So this is where you'll really be able to do better formatting. You'll have more control of this, more tools here. So if you want to do anything like, for instance, take out these bullet points, you'll have all of your tools up here and it's much easier to do once you get to this page right here. And you'll be able to format anything you want here. So let's say in this section, I don't want this to be a bullet point. Let's say I just wanted to bold that. Or let's say now I want that to be an H3 header and I can get rid of these bullet points here. Then I can start to do that all right here. And then you will have your completed blog post that you can simply take and put into your blog. Now, I don't believe they have a plagiarism checker right here within the tool. Always a good idea to run your content through a plagiarism checker just to be sure. But again, you really should be tweaking some of this content, editing a content, not just taking it as is, but it puts a whole bunch on paper for you to get you uh, at least a few steps ahead of starting from absolute scratch. They do have a free plan, so you can sign up for that and just take advantage of some of the tools that are available within that plan. They will have more limits to it as compared to their paid plan, of course, but you can always sign up for a paid plan if you want to. The free plan does come with a seven day free trial of the pro version. You do not have to enter your credit card information, so it's easy to test it out and not have to worry about being billed unless you decide to sign up for it. And then that will give you unlimited access to any amount of words or content, which is really nice because some of the other options out there do provide limits to the number of words or credits and so forth that you use. And here you can regenerate as much content, have it write as much for you as you want. So I hope this was helpful in giving you a glimpse into what copy.ai can do for you. Any questions at all, pop them down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.